Greetings YouTube and welcome to the blue corner to some more Carpet Vicar OCG results. This will be the last one for the Extra Booster 11 format, but let's be honest here, I don't think that this format really is coming to a close. Extra Booster 12 is coming true, but aside from Dragonic Vanquisher, I don't really think any of the decks, uh, any of the clans supporting that set are going to change anything up. Maybe Revon will do good, but Claret Sword Dragon has no chance because let's be honest, that deck sucks. Like. As far as I'm concerned, Extra Booster 12 does more for Luard and Premium than it does for Shadows and Standard. Although I'm sure the Mordred deck does appreciate uh, Cherishing Knight Bronwyn or whatever that Grade 1 Searcher is. So that being said, let's just get into it. So, we have only two tournaments to talk around, which is first up the first phase VGCS, around 43 people, Riviera won it, the rest of the decks are unknown, but I imagine that they were mostly Riviera. And you look at these numbers here, BT at 26 compared to 4 Tachikaze, 3 Novas, and 2 Darker Regulars. Tachis kind of makes sense. If that deck goes first and it opens perfectly, also known as Opens Exodia, you literally cannot lose with it. And then as far as Novas goes, there's this supposed anti rivier deck build floating around that involves the use of the VR from, um, uh, what's it called? Heroic Evolution. Like, it's Spinning Valiant, if I remember correctly. It plays him, plus some other cards, and there, it's supposed to be able to go first and just completely curb stomp bt or something like that i don't know i'd have to see the the, the matchup in action and the cards to be honest but that might explain why there's a decent amount of novas at this and di is arguably the best protect deck in the format and then you have one ups for the former guys such as narakami and gold paladin shadow paladin and yeah these decks that used to see a plentiful amount of only one ups now bt deck list here uh, not much to really see. And then we have the Hama Ali VGCS VMC Qualifier. Unknown people, but likely 30. Tashi's won it. Riviere got second. Great Nature got third. And Aquas got fourth. So, okay. This would be that instance of Tachikaze goes first and opens the God combo and flat out just beats the opponent because that's what happens in 1v1 format. Or best of one format. Then you got Riviere. Great Nature! Now this one I don't really have much of an explanation for, I, I, it just happened, I guess. And then Aquaforce, granted, Glory Maelstrom can still just outright get this deck places, so I imagine that he resolved Glory to full value a couple times, like, I imagine that he went first. That might be the case of what happened with Great Nature too, is it just went first and it managed to pop off. As a lot of these Axel decks, when they go first and they open combo, can still just smack you in the face for a decent amount. Like, that's definitely what Vanquisher can do if it goes first and it opens with a couple jaggy shots, Shatara, maybe even the Desert Gunner. It can go off and it could potentially uh, beat BT right there. And granted, if you don't kill them, then they could just Riviere Chain right on you, but maybe you might be able to survive that. Just maybe if you win the die roll, but we'll see. In that case, though, that's pretty much this format in a nutshell. After that first weekend showed us how utterly dominant Riviere was, I am not at all surprised that this is pretty much how it panned out. And yeah, I think we'll just have to wait on Extra Booster 13 with Gear Chronicle and Genesis Waves 2 and 3 respectively and Angel Feather Wave 3. Maybe those decks could be what ultimately checks BT. We'll see. I don't know if Gears will be able to do it just yet because it's Fang. If it was Jet, then they'd have the power of the main protagonist behind it, but not Fang. Fang will always never really be that good of a deck. It will always be Jet and only Jet. So until we get that Jet trial deck, I don't think Gears are going to do it. Angels, we'll have to see. I'm very skeptical on them just because they say they're going to be designed to take advantage of Axel 2. I mean, of Protect 2. We all know how garbage that is. And then Genesis. It might have a chance. Like, it needs better rear guards. And like it needs its rear guards to be not awful once you have Valkyrie out because getting to Valk and is part of the issue, but also just having other things to do once you have Valk out because the deck is very vanilla when you don't have Valk and that needs to be fixed. But in any case, that's pretty much it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, this is Boost39. Jacking out.